I think the timing for this video is going to be absolutely impeccable. So I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but we are in the middle of a global pandemic. Not sure if you knew that. Did you know that? I'm sure many of you have dealt with numerous problems for the pandemic as I have myself. But one problem that I noticed that is very interesting is that the price of webcams are through the roof right now, or you just can't find any. They're almost sold out everywhere. This makes sense as most businesses and schools are moved to online Zoom calls. There is a high demand for webcams right now. So this led me to ask is there an alternative out there for those of you who want to stream right now in the middle of this pandemic? You want to start streaming or creating content, but webcams are pretty much unobtainable right now. But luckily for you guys, today I have found a pretty, a pretty okay solution. The solution is typically found in your pocket, and by that I mean your phone. Sometime last year, Elgato came out with a software called the Screen Link. It is exclusive to Apple products and it connects with either PC or Mac. I downloaded it and tried it out myself, compared it to a C920 that I actually do own. I wanted to compare the two to see if it's worth it to buy a C920 right now, or maybe the phone actually isn't that bad and you can use it until the pandemic's over and prices go back down. So there are a couple things to note right off the bat about the software. It is free, however, if you want any kind of long-term use out of it, you are going to need to buy the 999 version. Without buying this version, you are limited to only about 15 minutes of stream time, and your bitrate is limited to about 16 megabits per second. In comparison to the $10 version where you have unlimited amount of stream time and you can get up to about 32 megabits per second, it definitely is worth it to buy the $10 version unless you plan on doing 10 minute streams or something, which I don't think you will. Maybe you will. Hey, if you are, then that's perfect. Go ahead and use the free version. Well, let's talk about the software. I thought the software was extremely user-friendly, super easy to set up, connects directly to OBS via a new video capture source that is labeled screen link it could not be more simplistic than that you download it set it up in OBS and then hit go live it seemed too good to be true there had to be some kind of con and yes there there was super mega latency it was so delayed there was about nine seconds on the auto settings between when I clapped here and when OBS saw it and put it out obviously that's gonna be a big problem for lining up audio and making sure it's in sync with what's happening in the game this makes sense that this is gonna happen as it's a wireless connection between your phone and OBS and it can only get but so good. I personally right off the bat changed the settings to be adaptive instead of auto. After I did this it went down to about two seconds of delay and that seems to be about the best you can get. So I set it up on a boom arm that I had right beside my C920. I did have to plug in the wall charger so the phone didn't die while I was testing it out and right off the bat there are some really notable comparisons to bring up. I was using an iPhone 8 and I thought the quality was fantastic when it was but obviously again we have a wireless connection so sometimes I'll have a little bit of lag, a little bit of fuzziness in the image. But when the connection was good, there was a fantastic sense of color depth and crispness to the video. I even liked it better than how the C920 did look. The C920 looked a little bit more washed out. You couldn't see the detail in the colors just as much. But I will say it was pretty annoying when I did have that fuzziness and some of the frames did drop. And if you're a Just Chatting streamer and your webcam is going to take up the entire screen and most of the time, it's probably going to be pretty noticeable. But on the contrary, if you play video games, it's going to be hardly noticeable with your webcam being smaller small and to the side and the gameplay is the main focus of your stream I thought it was still pretty good and perfectly usable so personally what would I prefer what do I recommend you do well since the camera quality was insanely different and one of the two costs hundred and eighty dollars right now in comparison to about ten I would say for now the smart thing to do is to wait until the c920 comes back down in price and when it does then pick up one but for now I don't think there's any problem with using this as a webcam especially if you're streaming video games I think it's very much worth it to do if your other option is to spend $180 for about the same thing. Without a shadow of a doubt, it definitely is worth $10. I say for now, give it a go, but when prices come back down for the webcam, is the phone still going to trump it? Absolutely not. The webcam is going to be way more stable. You won't have to worry about latency whatsoever, but I think for now, this is the more convenient and better option. And that's just my honest opinion about it. I think it definitely is worth $10 to try out. Outside of the comparisons, I think this is still pretty cool to use in conjunction with a wire webcam this is wireless so you can pick it up from your setup walk out of the room go to your bedroom play your piano get a drink out of your fridge all while the stream is still running from here so even if you do already have a webcam it could be a cool feature if you just turn this thing on to the side in another source walk out of the room bring your viewers all throughout your house there is some usability to this so yeah that's just some of my thoughts on it I know a lot of you guys are getting into streaming right now or you want to start streaming in the future but things are super expensive right now so maybe this might be a good alternative for you let me know if you guys try this out in the comments down below or feel free to come stop by my live streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's talk more about this. I have a lot of other really cool content coming out soon, so be on the lookout for that. Appreciate you guys for watching today, and if you haven't already, and you don't mind doing so, go ahead and drop a sub like.
enlightenment. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I will see you in the next video! Think I should do whatever you want! Shave your eyebrows if you want to! Live your dreams!